welcome again to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up PyCharm for Python development. Of course, you can use any other IDE or um, integrated development environment such as VS Code or the Python Ideal or a Spider or Jupyter Network or anything else. There is no problem with that. But my personal suggestion is to go for PyCharm because it comes with a lot of feature for debugging, for visualization and many more. So the first thing you need to do is to go to PyCharm JetBrains website and then download PyCharm. I have PyCharm already so I don't need to download it. I just want to show you uh, how to set up. What are the points that you need to uh, keep in mind when you're setting up uh, your uh, computer or your environment or developing programs using Python? All right, once you came to JetBrains website, you can see since I'm using macOS, the browser um, automatically understands the operating system, therefore it's selected as a macOS and then you can download either the professional or community version. Well, there is not much of a difference between professional and community, you can check the differences. I personally use the professional version because I'm doing scientific programming and I need a lot of visualization. But community version of PyCharm comes with a lot of feature for beginners. So you don't need to worry that oh, I can't use PyCharm professional versions. So my options will be limited. No, there's no such case. Just go for community version, download it, and after download, install it. and just download Anaconda and set it up the way I, I do it. So come to Anaconda website and then you see a lot of uh, explanation in here why it's Anaconda. If you have time, go through it. It's good. When you're first seeing anything, just go through it. See whether there are useful information uh, for you or not. Download it and after download install it. So I have downloaded Anaconda and now I'm going to install it All you need to do is just um, Clicking a few continue and this installation uh, will proceed and after installing What you need to do you come to start and then write Anaconda you see the navigation tool of Anaconda will appear in here. I'm not going to use that because I don't encourage you to use the GUI. But what you can do, just open up your terminal. If you're on Mac, if you are on Windows, uh, open up the CMD prompt or command prompt. And then uh, people who are in Linux, just open the terminal and you see this sign, which is called base. This base basically refers to the base environment. This is created by default by Anaconda. Create a new environment. Uh, normally, as a programmer, when you're working on very complex projects or when you're trying to deal with different packages, the best, best option is to create a new environment for each project. What do I mean by that? Because when you are uh, working on a project, you use a lot of libraries and frameworks to develop your code. And then sometimes there, there, is, there are some frameworks that needs a lower version of another library. And then uh, if you just install it with your current environment, this will not, this will create conflict. Or if you want to lower the current version of another library to match, to match it with the new library or framework, then you can't use your code. This kind of conflicts uh, normally happens when you program. To avoid that, this, this is uh, what you can do. Create environment for each uh, project and then use that. By environment, what I mean is to, you, you just basically create like kind of virtual um, a virtual machine and then you install all these packages but remember this virtual machine 
is not actual machine like or any other uh, uh, VMware sort of stuff. It's just dedicated for managing Python dependencies or managing Python libraries or frameworks that you would you will use for your uh, project which is based on Python. So to create a new environment on Anaconda, all you need to do is first check your Conda is correctly installed by using Conda um, dash dash version. You see my version 4.12 and then to create a new environment you can do it by either using Conda create dash in and then give your environment a name. Say I normally do it as a NVPY 3.8 let's say which stands for Python 3.8 and then give the Python version 3.8 and then let's see what the uh, Anaconda uh, does for us. All right, so Anaconda creates an environment named ENV Py38 and then installs all these related packages. Conda activate and then the environment that you created, Py38. Now, the second step after activating your environment is you need to check your um, Python version. You see after in, uh, activation, this one is shown up in here, which means I'm in this environment. So whatever I do in here, it's taken from that environment. If I write Python and then check the version, it gives me the Python version. And if I just want to access the Python terminal, I can write Python and then it gives me the Python terminal. If I want to create a variable, normally like a, a, a Python variable, you can say like A equals to, let's say five, very basic variable, and then print A check whether this is working or not gives you five so this five means this Python can interpret what you're writing and it can store it into your memory and then retrieve it back let's jump on how to set up PyCharm this environment to do so open your PyCharm IDE come to uh, wherever you have installed PyCharm all right, so after opening PyCharm, since I'm using some projects before, it will show up in here. Let's just uh, create a new project. Clicking on new project, you'll get um, this kind of window. I see many beginners struggle with setting up this environment. If you come to here, you see a bunch of information here. The new environment, whether you want to create a new environment, PyCharm will help you to create a new, new environment using this virtual environment function that they have. And if you have an environment, which I created previously, and I encourage you to use that, like use your own created environment, then check this one, previously conf configured uh, interpreter, which is the environment. And then come here, select more and then you see this this little uh, icon Honda environment choose that if you are currently working with uh, on the same environment let me get out of here and this I am in this environment and you see that PyCharm uh, correctly it, it detects my environment and finds where the Python is this is where my Python, this Python that I write here, this Python 3.8 located in this location. If you can't see that, in case you couldn't see that, what you can do, find where your Anaconda is installed. The environment that you have created, it's just there and the Python. Select OK and then give your project a name. And then create that project one this is the name of the project and after creation you'll see something nice here which is an already built-in code to help you <clears throat> start out with writing python code pycharm opens up and now you have the we have this python file and there is a simple code which shows you 
uh, very nice code with a defined function and then you have this breakpoint there is another video about debugging how to use uh, PyCharm's debugging tool to debug your code then you have this driver program which in my videos you can see that I use this to um, run the code which is above here and I normally either use a function or if it's not a function I just write the code here if you run this it will print out this message hi um, hi is here and then PyCharm so to make sure that our environment is working fine i'm just going to run this and see it's working no problem i hope this video is helpful if it is please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button thank you and see you in the next video